Hi, I'm back with another update regarding my self-built uh, Bafang mid-drive motor e-bike. Um, and surprise, surprise, we've got another fault. Nothing major, hopefully. Uh, this time regarding the gear change sensor. Uh, that's this thing which is disc deconstructed here. Um, the idea is that when you change gears, it, that sits like so. When this wire moves, when you're changing gears, it moves this little pulley. And that little pulley is sensed because this wire connects down through to the motor um, and it cuts out the motor temporarily when you change gears so you don't crunch them with all that power the motor's producing. Um, so it just hadn't been used for a month or two, the bike uh, came to use it last week and it wasn't working. Um, so I've just deconstructed it. Uh, there's no uh, way it's supposed to be dismantled. This was the cover on there and I simply had to go around the edge with a sharp knife and then it came off with a little bit of persuasion. Um, and it's a pretty simple device really. You've got cable, normally comes in there, runs across, over the pulley and out the other side. And that pulley is supposed to move. Now it is doing now, as you can see as I rotate it with my fingers. Um, I'm not sure now whether it was when I first took it to bits, but I'll show you how it comes to bits and how it works. So here's the pulley that I've just pulled off. Uh, that plastic cover does also come off and in the middle there that silver bit you can see is a magnet that sits over this spindle and as it rotates it detects that and sends a signal back to the motor so very straightforward so i'm guessing we've got two options here if it wasn't working one is we reduce the friction between the spindle in the middle and the magnet so that it rotates more easily and so I'm going to put a little bit of grease on that spindle and reassemble it, being very careful not to get it on the actual piece of plastic which contains the wire, because the other option is to increase the friction between the gear cable up here and this plastic pulley. And I have read online that some people have done that by filing their gear cable, which makes me a little bit apprehensive uh, about it snapping. I've just had a gentle go with a file myself, I can't feel that it's any rougher and I'm loath to really go at it uh, just because in case it frays it or it snaps. So my first port call is really just going to be to to grease up this spindle and uh, and see if that makes it rotate more freely and, and makes it work again. So a little bit of grease on that spindle seems to have done the trick. I've just put it back together here with some good old trusty gaffer tape carpet tape around it but I've cut out so you can still see the LED so you can see when it's working you might see that there's an occasional red flash there it tells us that it's working and it's on and if I hold that up there you should now see a green flash when I've changed gear there you go and back down again so all it needed was a bit of lubrication on that central spindle and now there appears to be no problem with that cable moving the the little uh, spindle Good, um, we'll see how long that lasts. I'll do another video and let you guys know if it runs into any further problems. Take care.